started my uh, winter hole 30 I picked actually. And it started, here we go, and you can see this is day one. Now I'm showing you the web version of this in, that sits inside a browser on your laptop. You can also log in to the, exactly the same thing using your mobile phone, uh, either iOS or Android. And that will show you a, um, a mobile version of all of this where you can do everything with your thumbs. Now, when you first, if you have picked the 1st of January, which I think most of you will have done, um, to start your whole 30, then you will see here that we've kept you with a blank week uh, just to save any confusion, and you're starting there on the 1st. And when you open um, your real plans, though, you'll see yourself on the 26th, and you'll see that there's, you know, some food here that's been scheduled and stuff for this week. Um, but of course, it's very date centric this. So we're actually doing it based on an actual calendar. And to change the the date, you you click this button here, December the twenty next of December twenty sixth, and that takes you through to the next week. So this gives you now the first two days of uh, recipes, and also it shows you um, the. Uh, the, the the day of the whole 30 that you're on and also it's got some notes here for you so if i go to the next week then you'll see more what a you know a full week looks like and you can see kind of everything lined up here now there's kind of interestingly you'll see here that you have some you can minimize down here on the bottom left you'll see all the kind of the nice pictures and what have you. You can see here that uh, there are some recipes that just look like this and some recipes that have a yellow line around it. That means that this is a leftover. So over here, it tells you how many to cook for. So here I'm cooking for 12. I'm, my system's set up to cook for four people. And so um, this is cooking this one time and it's cooking for two more leftovers one's here and the other one is sitting in the following week and so to see the shopping list for creating these recipes here you just click on the shopping list here and this will take you to um to an entire list of ingredients to get for your recipes now you can also get all of this on instacart or on Amazon Fresh. And also you can do that on your mobile too. And if you have an account and you're able to receive or, or uh, you're in an area that has this uh, these services, then you'll be able to get everything here uh, loaded into your cart, or you can just go to the store. Now, there's a, a little trick I wanted to show you here in the shopping list, because the shopping list not only, as, as well as having all the ingredients that you need in order to make those recipes on your meal plan, you can also do things like, well, you know, perhaps you already have some time in your um, pantry, and so you're able to check stuff off, which is kind of nice. And so that means obviously that now you'll have one less thing to purchase when you go to the shops. And it's always a good idea to do this before you go to the shops too, to make sure that um, you don't double buy anything. But the other thing that you can do is that you can add ingredients. So maybe you're going to go and get some of those nut pods uh, because you're not having milk in your in your coffee. Or maybe you're going to be getting some other whole 30-ish ingredients. Well, you can go uh, over here and you can add ingredients too. So you can decide, um, let's say, uh, I'll, almond, let's just put almond butter in here, my favorite snack of mine. But you can put almond butter in here and then you can say every week, um, I want to buy some almond butter. More, what, what we're really saying here is every week, I would like to check to see if I have some almond butter. But so this is what the shopping list is like. Let's go back to the planner again. All right, so here we are again. Now, let's say also that you're looking at this and you decide that um, you either want to add something or remove something here. You can totally do that even with a template. 
let's say that this isn't um, quite what you are thinking about. Maybe you want to change out this lunch. You can remove this recipe here like that and it'll remove every, any leftovers you have. And then over here, you can look through all of your uh, recipes that are within your diet. So the diet is set up here is the standard Whole30 diet. And you can go through here and you can go and have a look through various recipes. And of course, you can filter them as well. So you can say, well, let's have a look at all the Whole30 entrees. And let's have a look at everything that has an active time of 15 minutes or less. Boom. So you can see here very quickly that you're able to um, add recipes however you want. Um, it'll only give you instant pot recipes if you say you have a pressure cooker or it'll give you recipes that um, it, it also within the diet, um, we're taking into account your equipment settings that you uh, tackled when you, you answered when you first logged into uh, to RealPants. Okay, so then if you want to look at the shopping list for the following week, you can just kind of click over here and then you can see how um, everything is laid out for you and so on and so forth till the end of your whole 30. So if you have a template, it's all laid out for you, pretty straightforward. It's, it's up and running, off you go. Now, where uh, Real Plans excels, not just in having a template and then being able to modify it all you want, you can also create your own whole 30. And also we find that people, once they've done a whole 30, they want to do another one, not just on an official date, but maybe, you know, a different length whole 30, or they either want to do like a, you know, the whole 20 the following month, or they want to do this. And also they want to do kind of do some reintroductions. So this really is a, uh, a big tool set that allows you to do all those kinds of things. So let's kind of dive into some of that stuff. So over here, there's a cog and it's your settings. You can go and click over here and it'll take you into, first of all, your account. But over here in the Whole30 meal plan, we have lots of options for you where you can really start getting very custom. And this is, um, I think, where a lot of whole 30 is enjoy working with us because for a start you can say you know let's let's say that i can't wait for uh, the first january i'm going to start on sunday i'm going to start tomorrow so i can i'm going to start that i'm going to say i'm going to start tomorrow and i'm going to do the traditional 30 days but let's go and have a look at this whole 30 diet over here now this, I'm going to reset the food groups, the whole 30 settings. There we go. So this is the, this is the standard whole 30 and approved exclusions, because essentially a diet is mainly exclusions that have been set up for you so that you don't have to think about it. However, it may be that as a, um, as a family, you don't dig on a few things. So maybe you don't eat pork or maybe you don't it's not just that you don't eat fish but you don't eat salmon let's say so you can put salmon down here as an ingredient you can find all the ingredients of salmon select it all and go over here i'm now having a salmonless whole 30 set up for me now i'm sure lots of you like salmon but there may be some other things that you are wanting to avoid um, as part of your whole 30 and you just plug it into here and have it excluded on the right hand side so you can either just take an entire thing like this so maybe i don't want to eat mollusks and i click this button here and move it over to the excluded food groups or i go over here and i put in an ingredient i find all the variants of that ingredient and then i stick them over here so now that I save that, Real Plans is creating a custom diet, especially for me. So here's my molluskless, salmonless whole 30. Charlene, I bet you can't say that three times quickly. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the other thing, the other thing that happens here. Um, is that you can now go down here and you can um, change the um, the schedule as well. 
So if you, you can decide on, you know, how many servings you want, how many times you want to cook dinner, how many times you want to cook lunch, how many times you want to cook breakfast, then there are various options here too. So for the dinner, for example, how many times do you actually want to cook dinner? Because maybe there's going to be a few times where, um, you know, maybe you're, you're going to be um, eating in your support bubble and you're going, someone's going to be cooking for you. Or more than likely, what you, you may want to do is you want to cook three recipes, but you would like one leftover. So here it's saying, I've got four portions and I'm cooking. I would like to make leftover portions of also four. And I would like to do this one time. So I'm now going to have three times that I'm going to cook, and I'm going to have three leftover portions of the same size. And so what you can do is you can set that up. And I'm going to keep my whole 30 pretty simple. I'm going to say that I'm just going to have leftovers from, from dinner here. And I'm going to have a few breakfasts. Now you can also change your really you know change all your scheduling too so here here we go i've got these three breakfasts bum, bum, bum. i have a dinner set up on the sunday with eight portions because i'm going to have the the four portions here from monday lunch and this is what my week is going to look like now so this is this is saying i'm going to have dinner here, dinner here, dinner here. At least this is where it's initially going to be set up. So you're able to create not only your own diet, but also your own schedule here. So I'm going to save this, and this is going to now overwrite my entire plan. And it's going to create my custom Whole30. So it's going to start on a specific date. Now I'm going to go back to my meal planner. Remember, I wanted to start next week. So this is, it always shows you your current week that we're currently in. So it's showing me here. So I go and click over one week. And then we'll find that we're up and running. And there we go. So it's suggesting a slow cooker ham. Some cinnamon mashed sweet potatoes. Yum. Got a shredded chicken here with some green beans and the tuna and arugula salad. Now, you may look at this and go, yeah, this is, you know, this is what I asked for. Be careful what you ask for, as they say in life. However, you may look at this and think, well, I want to add some more stuff to this. You know, there's um now. If I go here and have a look at this, this is the Instant Pot Chicken Marbella, and I really cannot tell you enough. I've cooked this so many times now. Um, it's really very delicious. And, oh, look, it has some ratings too. Yeah, I haven't even added my own thing to this, but everyone seems to like this. Anyway, um, this is an amazing recipe if you have an Instant Pot. And also, if you don't have an Instant Pot, I'm a recent convert to that too. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I, I bought it a few months ago and it's amazing. I had this, I threw this party once and I had like, I changed this to 16 servings. And um, well, this was before the pandemic. So no, I must have had my Instant Pot in February last year. God, time flies. Okay, it was in February and I had a party just before that. And uh, I put this in and everyone arrived. And once everyone arrived, that's when I switched on my Instant Pot. It was very daring. You know, it was like mm -hmm. an uncooked meal. I know. I, I, and I served it with rice. And I turned on the rice cooker. And I turned on this. And within an hour, I had this perfectly cooked chicken marbella. Anyway, can't you, it's, it's really good. Um, and then here you can say, well, within my diet, I want to have a little course. I want some side dishes here. And you know what? Um, I've got some, um, I don't know, asparagus. Let's search this. So this will show you now everything to do with asparagus. Ooh, bacon wrapped asparagus. That's pretty festive, isn't it? 
Mm. Would that be would that be weird to have a chicken marbella? No. I don't think so. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it anyway, like that. There we go. And then let's see what else I've got here and some sweet potato. And um, you know, you've got various options here. I cooked these guys the other night because uh, my 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 Jewish friend said that it was like a Hanukkah thing. So I, I cooked some of these. Actually, very delicious. There we go. And so now I've just created a whole dinner for myself, um, just on the fly, all um, still official Whole30 meals and like this. And I've done the Whole30 and I think one of the main things that was, was panic panicking for me was just making sure that, you know, I had enough food in the house for when I was hungry and I didn't want to go off the rails and not like stuff. And it, and it really did help me with disassociating myself with that, you know, the food freedom piece and um, disconnecting <clears throat> from eating trashy food, you know, as, as often as I was. And having a plan like this really does help. Um, and so, so yeah, so there's some other things I wanted to kind of show you here. You can also go over to the recipe box, which has really lovely, large pictures of, um, of everything and really kind of um, touches the taste buds and gets things going. And you can have a look at all these nice pictures and you can also schedule things kind of in the same way. The Thai coconut soup as well. Oh, that's pretty good. So what these recipes are made up of, there's some um, 2000 real plans recipes. And um, then there's a number of whole 30 recipes in the system. And if you're having someone who's not on the whole 30, <clears throat> or there's something that you want to cook for them, and you're not uh, having everyone do the whole 30 in your household, you can always uncheck the diet here, and then it'll include maybe some other things. Um, so you see, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because I had excluded salmon, salmon was no, you know, no longer showing up in my recipes. But of course, maybe there is a salmon fiend in your family, and you want to include them. You can also do that too. So you can kind of schedule. Um, you can schedule that too. Um, so, so there we go. So that's kind of a, an oh. And if you want to import a recipe, maybe there's a whole thirty contributor that you're really into. Um, that's you know not being presented here you can go and click on a url and if it if it's a well-formed recipe it'll import or you can manually bring stuff in too so you can paste copy and paste the ingredients and the how to prepare the instructions in here um, and and that'll work for you too so that in a nutshell um, is really how real plans will work for you now you know we can go on and on uh, but i want to make sure that um, i'm respectful of your time so I just wanted to kind of just mention one more thing over here, and that's that there's this feature called Manage Pantry here on the laptop. If you click on this and put in the ingredients that you have in your kitchen, um, will tell you how many recipes you can already make. So if you have a look over here, I've put in some, some ingredients and you can already make 18 recipes from ingredients you already have. And also, if you click on, and these are the, the available recipes here are always within your diet. Um, so if you click on important ingredients, which is a link down there, it says, oh, if only you had some sweet potato, then you would be unlocking another 11 recipes. This was a, a, a query, a database query that we found by accident while we were building this feature. And I think that this is a pretty great feature right now, especially if you're trying to reduce the number of times you go to the store. And, uh, and everything else. And so I, I really want to end here on just, uh, first of all, wishing everybody um, happy holidays. And I, I, I know that this is a very stressful time for a lot of people. Um, we're in the middle of a pandemic, global pandemic. Um, we're certainly having a terrible time here in Oregon. Um, hospital beds are filling up and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's a tough time, everyone, in terms of employment, and um, and everything else. And so if you um, are struggling financially and you haven't yet signed up for real plans and whole 30 and all that kind of stuff, contact our support and we'll see what we can do for you. Um, if you've reached you know 22 minutes into a webinar and this is something that you're really wanting to do, we are adamant that having 
um, good food, to boost your immune system, to make you feel positive and everything else is just paramount. And of course, if you can afford uh, real plans, then please do. We need to keep the lights on too and mm -hmm. need to pay for myself and Charlene and everything else. And we're a business um, and, and we also have expenses and developers and hosting fees and everything to keep this all open and running quickly for you. But I just wanted to say that. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. contact support, support at realplans.com or you can just go to realplans.com slash all 30 and you can click there's a, there's a support tab there. So if you go, let me just show you that. Realplans.com all 30. Yeah, so you can leave a message down here as well. Um, but other than that, um, enjoy. We've been working with Whole30 now for a number of years, and we've dialed in the system to make it really work. You know what? I've completely forgotten to show you. <laughs> let's go, let's go, go over to settings over here. Once you're done with your Whole30, and congratulations, uh, I'm pre-congratulating you for when you do, um, do go over to reintroduction over here. Um, this is a way of... Uh, doing a fast track reintroduction where you can have a 10 day kind of version where you can say, right, on day one, I want to introduce legumes and see how I feel and day four or dairy. And this will create a little plan, a mini plan for you that will help you kind of bring stuff back into your diet so that um, like a, kind of when you're isolating various food groups and stuff, you can start bringing it up, be in touch with your body and to kind of, um, Re rehabilitate you in terms of um, being able to eat a broader uh, spectrum of foods in order that you can, um, you know, just function normally, um, but still have that deeper and better connection to food, uh, which is really what Whole30 is all about. And over here, of course, there are the Whole30 templates. So if you ever wanted to apply the Whole30 template back again, um, you can grab one of these and pick a date. Um, uh, uh, and they'll go in. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And um, I hope that you are safe and that you are connected, doing Zooms and stuff with family. Um, it's an important time to help those, especially those who are really isolated and the elderly who are living on their own. Okay, Charlene, anything else you want um, to add? Just one thing, if you can just show us again where to sign up for real plans to do a whole thing. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's real plans, whole 30, like that. Or you can go to whole30.com and you can just click on meal plans here and that'll take you directly to the same page. Okay. Perfect. So there's, there's two ways of getting there. Okay. Uh, Charlene, thank you so much uh, for joining and working on the day after Christmas, on Boxing Day, and uh, I hope your family's doing well too. Okay, thank catch you, you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.